Hey babe, where are we? We're taking the swan boat in Boston Commons Park. Come in. Sit down. Public Garden founded in 1837. This morning we're starting in downtown Boston in front of Quincy's Market where we're going to go get a little late breakfast. Uh, in Boston we got the Boston Go Card and we're going to go do some of the activities on there. It's a way to see a bunch of attractions uh, for one low price I guess. All the attractions are all on that card and you can book them as you go. And today I think we're going to take the trolley tour maybe and the Sunset Cruise. Take the hop on bus, the hop on bus, and the sunset cruise. We're gonna take a sunset. Oh, the sunset cruise, we're taking Sunday. So, so today, we're gonna go to the park, we're gonna walk the Freedom Trail, and we're gonna go uh, to eat the Quincy's Market. And we're ready for the lobsters and the clam chowder. So, let's go see what they have in here. Let's see what we find to do in Boston. No, here is no mandatory face mask, mac and cheese. Ooh, look at this face. <laughs> Do you like it? I like it. Okay. Bon appetit. Pop the buna. We start our morning at Starbucks in Boston. Very pretty view, very pretty city, old with the old architecture. For those of you who didn't know, this little uh, 
uh, red tainted path line here. It's called the Freedom Trail in downtown Boston. You can follow it to many of the historical sites and many of the attractions in downtown Boston. And we're gonna start taking it right now and walk down towards Boston Commons. quick look inside the old state house here in Boston. It's off the Freedom Trail. It's another one of the many museums that you can pay to go into or as part of your Boston go Card, I believe. But for now, we're just gonna keep walking down the Freedom Trail. building right there is the old southern meeting house it's another one of the historical buildings and museums on the freedom trail The next stop on the Freedom Trail is the Old City Hall. Really cool building. Raymond Temple. Yeah, so this is Benjamin Franklin's pattern. But there is a Benjamin Franklin that does lie here. It is his uncle, Benjamin. Benjamin Franklin was named after his uncle Benjamin. And he, he lies here. But the writing on the stone was in fact written by their son Benjamin on the stone. So the obelisk is that of the Franklin family. Our Benjamin Franklin we know and love as the scientist, as the doctor, All right, we found our first interesting little thing right across from the Massachusetts State House. There's this giant statue, which is really cool. But the interesting thing is this tree right here somehow has a hunk of brick wall inside of it, which is really weird. Public garden founded in 1837. I said public garden founded in 1837. 
Bostonia. How fair I like the roses. Ah, this is my park. This is where I wanted to come. It's so pretty and here they have boats. Let's go see the boat. We're in the garden here, just south of Boston Commons Park. I think this is called the Swan Lake. You can take these little swan boat tours. Maybe we'll do it, I'm not sure, let's see. This is the entrance on the park in Boston. And it's so pretty and those roses here. Cute alley. Very cute alley. And here people are singing or making balloons for the kids. I never saw this instrument, but it's He is actually pedaling on the on the swan, swan to move that swan boat. I didn't expect that to work just like a bicycle, a big bicycle. And I'm so happy to see them working because not too long ago they didn't they were stuck here because of the covid and now everything is up and working and here it's so pretty and a lot of tourists I like it some of them still wear a mask most of them don't everything is open and everything is nice and today in boston it's uh, just a, a beautiful day, probably like 80 degrees and sunny. And this is Washington. Washington statue and we here behind the swamp, swamp lake boat and we're gonna take a break on the bench with this view Hey babe, where are we? Are we taking the swan boat in Boston Common Park? Come in. Sit down. Hey. We're in the swan boat. For the pigeon. the tour on the 
swan swan boat and it's $4.50 per person and it's very cool they uh, take your right on the left and on the right and now we're gonna go under the bridge I like this park I recommend it and the swan tour it's it's cute take you around the little island is on the lake and now we're gonna go under the boat I mean under the bridge Park in Boston. the park in front of our hotel in Boston and it's so pretty and all these flowers purple flowers are so in bloom here most of other places are dead and I find a tree in here which I don't know what fruit are those did anybody know they're full of this going to see the aquarium so let's go see the aquarium unless you're hungry and you can go get some food from the food trucks and you go there buy the food the food truck and then you go inside here in the trillium garden the garden good and they have hot dog smell dogs it's a pretty cool building with this giant arch that opens up to the harbor there it's right across the street from this outdoor beer garden this is a really cool area really enjoying all these outdoor public spaces in Boston we've been walking around the Greenway, I think they call it. It's a park that sort of wraps around North Boston here. My There's... mom believed that looks like a Excalibur with a little turn. <laughs> the, old, like uh, cool, the old building cool there? Building, yeah. yeah. Cool. There's a lot of cool old architecture in Boston. And the, and the, and the what? And it's the right time. It's 2.56 right now and mm -hmm. the watch of the day is like almost 3 o'clock. So you can see it. Not sure why they're here, but there's misters in the park. I guess like a cool off station for people. Let's see if it works. Oh, all right, that's pretty nice. If you're too hot, you can just walk in and get get a little bit of a. Cool off a little bit. I cool off. What I like in Boston is all these uh, parks and even just on the road in the middle of the hotels and districts and you see a lot of grass you have chairs you see you walk a little bit more you see a bench so everywhere here they have you can stay and have a drink and uh, a water or coffee or something 
and it's pretty. As far as I understood, um, you cannot buy alcohol uh, to the restaurants or bars unless you get food also. But we didn't drink much, so we didn't try to get alcohol without drinks. But this system, it's pretty good.